So let's talk about this. Another thing to note during these warm summer months, right? It's going to be these moths. You're going to see this is the time of year when they really take off feeding on local trees. Yeah, in particular, these we're talking about the spongy moths. They're a form of moth that is an invasive species that actually attacks a hmm. lot of our trees. It started in the northeast and has worked its way down here into the Carolinas. So experts are beginning to treat it and get rid of it here in the Carolinas. Brady Ved Voorhees has more right now for us. She explains. Spongy moths, previously referred to as gypsy moths, aren't just invasive because they exist in large amounts. They feed off of one of the most beautiful things about the Carolinas, trees. Over 300 species of hardwoods and shrubs, especially oaks. After a few years of stripping the foliage, the leaves off of those trees, um, you get to a point where the trees are so stressed that you might have massive amounts of them dying off. Sarah Locke is the Forest Health Research Operations Manager with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. She says the USDA has estimated a $30 million economic impact per year since the 1990s. It's also a big problem for two of our major industries in the state. So we have forestry, that's about 138,000 jobs in North Carolina, and tourism, that's 197,000 jobs. Between the two of those industries, that's about $62 billion that they contribute to our economy. So how does the Department of Agriculture manage the populations? Not by killing them, by using a mating disruption. It's an organic treatment made up of the mating pheromone, paraffin wax, vegetable oil, and water. Locke says it is not harmful to gardens, pets, or people. It's released out of an airplane flying overhead, similar to mosquito treatments. The little droplets stick onto leaves on the trees. They dry because it's wax, and then they break down over the summer, releasing that pheromone so the male moths can't find female moths. They get confused, can't lay eggs, and then the wax is gone by the end of the summer. There is a treatment scheduled for portions of Grandfather Mountain on June 12th. If you want an update on spongy moth treatment plans in your area, there is a link to sign up through the North Carolina Department of Agriculture. That link lives in my story over on our WCNC Charlotte mobile app. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.